Hello guys, this is Good Lake, and this is the final video of the Let's Code series, where we're finishing the first sprint. I realized in the last episode I kind of didn't finish the episode, because obviously I now intend to continue here on this. So sorry about that, and uh, I'd like to mention that even though the series is coming to a close, that doesn't mean there won't be any more videos that I'll make about this, or that I'll stop working on the project. I just don't want to make any more videos uh, on it in a consistent state, because really they've been reduced to just a kind of a status report, and I really don't like doing status reports on these tiny details. I think that I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to in all of these videos. In fact, more than I wanted to. We covered stupid shit like how to set up your Gradle in IntelliJ IDEA when it doesn't like being set up in IntelliJ IDEA. Anything I would do going forward would be a little bit of a um, redundant. You could say, okay, now we have some information from the first sprint. So that'll help us with the second sprint. That's fine. That's reasonable to say. But again, like I said, there will be future videos. And if such information is truly interesting, I will try to include it in there. I just don't want to make uh, this series continue for the slim possibility of a few interesting things happening when my prediction is that Pretty much no more interesting things will happen. I have to admit that these videos have become a bit of a burden on the project rather than helping it out. What with the four month break, which was mostly because I knew I had to make more videos. Fuck it. Let's end it here officially and uh, move on with just working on the project and occasionally releasing an update or whatever. Whenever I feel like it. I will put it in the same playlist, even though the playlist will say completed, but whatever. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll figure it out. For today, uh, well, it, it would have to be the 16th video, uh, but uh, fuck that. You know, we don't have anything else to do in the sprint, other than maybe mucking around with a few small details that I don't care too much about to muck around with. Instead, what we're going to do is uh, just do the review and demo. So, a few notes about the sprint, I suppose. It it just completely fell, fell apart at some point. As you can see, we started last year, so that's really a bad sign when you're a third into the other year. But really, uh, it doesn't matter. I, I don't think that uh, we we can actually draw any reasonable conclusions from the sprint, because we started it off by spending like a third on just various shitty issues like setting up Git and Gradle, then spent another batch of episodes coding live, which was, in my opinion, just not a good idea. And then finally, we've just made some status reports, which included hours of work behind them, unlike the live coding, which at best would be 30 40 minutes. But hey, we completed it, so that's nice. We can, we can celebrate that at least. Or did we? As you will note, there is another status called accepted instead of completed. Because even if I think that they're complete, technically whoever would be like reviewing the results of the sprint by, you know, looking at it and trying it out could say, <laughs> this is rubbish. It does not work at all like described. Even though it probably doesn't, there was just communication problem. Look, let's not go too deeply into the possibilities, uh, into the abyss of possibilities of what could have happened instead. Let's focus on what did happen. Can we take these things to acceptance or not? That is what matters! And that's what we're gonna find out right now. Let's go, baby. Let's actually try and complete the things and uh, see if, in general, this, this you know, makes sense. So, subscriber, I want to see a list of channels for search criteria so I can find the channels I want to subscribe to. This is a very natural desire. We'll uh, restart the application from the last episode. Can we do that? Well, the, the UI here prints uh, some bullshit about channel search query. So if I'm subscribed to the Good Like 13, 
which I'm not because I'm good like 13 and you can't subscribe to yourself, but hypothetically speaking, or if you consider my other YouTube account that's empty. Look, look, let's not go too deeply and let's just do this. So as you can see, our application still outputs debug code because of course that's still in, but let's let's ignore that for now. Let's let's pretend it's not there. It'll still serve as a nice kind of like, you know, pacer for when we do something. It, well, there you go. I found the good light 13. 13 times. Just, just exactly as the first acceptance criteria wants us to. So I have not chosen the preferred amount of results, so I searched for a channel and it gave me 13 results. It would be nice to give unique, but I think that might be actually impossible, so I'm not gonna go too deeply into that and say that this one's okay. Let's try the next one. So given that I have chosen the preferred amount of results, when I search no more than that specific amount of channels is displayed. All right, let's choose some. In fact, the fact that we chose no more language, which was very clever on my part, allows us to use non-unique ones, even though it's dumb. You could say, okay, who would use this? Oh, I want to see 13 of the same channel. Maybe I don't, motherfucker. And I think that's a fair thing to say, and, you know, this is something that you could uh, take it up with uh, the people... Uh, reviewing your program you know as a programmer or maybe even uh, an analyst you could say well i mean it's garbage but that's how youtube search works so if that's how it works maybe that's what you expect and then the user is going to come and say that's fucking retarded what the fuck are you talking about and uh, yeah well that's why you do a fucking demonstration so that a real user could try this out and see man this looks stupid <laughs> And, you know, it's it's fair and it's true. So we're going to set to one max result and then we're going to search for... Uh, let's try something else. What's what's a good channel? A search for Sorcerer Dave. I haven't looked at this. Sorcerer Dave, by the way, isn't his real channel name. I'm sure we'll find him if we look for him. That's probably him. I, I don't actually know. That's, that's the irony. Yeah, we could see and find out but he used to have a, a different title and we see let's if we can find him by the title jingles no you can't <laughs> okay maybe maybe we need more search results and then we'll find him let's give it like 20 and that's not the, how you do a twin that's because i'm clicking the wrong button okay and now let's do jingles this search is fucked, man. Look at this. Look, <laughs> the mighty jingles for nine times. Fine. Jingles, oblivion. There we go. No way we're gonna find anything else. Now we get a bunch of sorcerer daves. That's because that's how it works, motherfucker. That's how it works. It's fucking stupid, but it works. And your user would tell you it's stupid. And, you know, since I'm the user right now, I'm telling myself, this is fucking stupid. Who thought this was a good idea? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody did. But, needless to say, we can actually find the people we subscribe to, and uh, the preferred amount of results is shown. Yeah, we can see the title and link of every single channel that we find. So I think this is an accepted with mild comments on the YouTube API, but strictly speaking, I don't believe, and I could be wrong, but I don't believe that this accepted has anything to do with what the user tells you. This is more of a technical thing for someone like, I don't know, the product owner maybe looking at this and inspecting it or whoever wrote a story or something like basically it's it's some kind of a model but it's it's not like that i would guess but at the same time you could say well yeah it, it is like that you know if you do that but the problem with that is that you only get one chance to change this so it makes no sense that way what, what do i mean by that it's, you only get the demo 
Like, what are you going to do? Keep showing the user as soon as you complete it? That doesn't make any sense. The user isn't going to come over every other day to see what other shenanigans you did with your application. He doesn't have the time. I would find it very dubious. I think this is more just, just a random thing where someone goes through this criteria. Because completed really just means that... Uh, the work has been done and you've, the tests have been written, the acceptance tests have been written. Well, I don't know about that one actually, <laughs> but, but this is more of a like, yo, you know, like a real look through someone doing it. As, that's my guess. That's how I would do it. But at least at, at the start, I don't know if I could change my mind eventually with this. Because uh, obviously we don't have any users, we don't have jack shit. So wh what am I? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna change my mind on? This is the last video, goddammit. Enough games, okay? Let's do the next one. So, given that a playlist doesn't exist on YouTube when I select it, I'm informed about it not existing. And this is, I want to see a list of videos in the playlist. So choose if I want to subscribe to the playlist or not, which is very important functionality, one of the most important. So uh, for this purpose we have uh, a playlist that is um, deleted we've tested it before but who knows maybe something broke all right so we could not get videos for playlists with id blah 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 because code once again we we could we <laughs> i think the user would once again complain what the fuck is this error message like what, what are you what are you trying to pull here man because if you looked at this in the CMD, it would probably be like one, two, three lines, just all, you know, broken up. So, eh. I don't think our user is going to be happy. This is giving me flashbacks to my fucking university projects where I complete the task, but it's just not right because I just didn't do it right, man. I, I just didn't understand, man. What the fuck? What do you mean? Showing the number change doesn't mean I'm showing the change. I'm not showing the change, because the change is not just the end result. Look, let's not go into Vietnam flashbacks equivalent of university stories. Let's just continue with this acceptance story. Can you, can you feel the happiness that I'm having right now? It's because it's the last video and I don't have to worry about this shit anymore. Oh my god. Public and unlisted videos, and we'll see something. Now, uh, we're gonna jump to three with the private, which... I don't know, I... Thought of it later? I, I don't know why it's there. It's been four months, don't ask. So... This is the weird shenanigans that's going on, by the way. So, as you can see, for some reason, this stupid application is now giving me 404. Playlist identified as cannot be found. Instead of giving me the usual, it should be 403. But, okay. Look, all you have to do is restart the application and it'll work, I, I swear. I've been over this. We've been down this. Okay, it doesn't work still. Maybe this playlist is actually deleted. Fuck, I don't know. Now, as you can see, this playlist exists. It's exactly the same as the unlisted playlist. But maybe now that we've poked it once, now it will show up. Ah, of course. You see, the problem was that I hadn't opened the playlist in the browser first. This silence is meant to represent me staring off into the distance as I feel my life slowly fading away in despair. N not despair, maybe is the wrong term. Despair would imply something, you know, active. Whereas this is just a passive case of giving up all hope. I'm sure there's an English word for it, I just don't know it. What am I doing with my life? Except in this case, it's not my life, but it's the Google API. It does inform you about being private. Eventually. <laughs> I, okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll just, we'll just, we'll just make sure to note this because it 
can work, but only if YouTube API works with us. And there's nothing I can do about it anyway. If YouTube API doesn't give me the information, well, then what the fuck am I supposed to do? But it's, it is something to note. So, I, uh, can we add some notes? I, I think we can't do it here. We have to go here, but does it even matter? I think we, we use, we use this. So, let's do not two. Okay. Well, look, we don't have time to, involve us as in the intricacies. Let's move on to the unlisted and listed playlists. So a playlist that's listed, okay, this is the unlisted actually playlist, as I said, the same as the private one, no problems whatsoever, and let's code playlist, which is Bam Wham Shazam. Still exactly the same as the last time you've seen, because I haven't been releasing any of these videos. I haven't even edited like a bunch of them. I will re start releasing them after some of my series finished because I, I I just you know I'm I'm a bit lazy so I want to put this as one of the series that I release especially since it's not very long so I think that's fine yeah that is indeed a pass get out of here we accept your shenanigans uh, yeah display title and link it does we're we're not gonna complain too much about this one because yeah, it, there's just only so much we can do okay this is the big chunky one let's see given the video exists in youtube when i select it i'm informed about it not existing what what the fuck <laughs> given that a video exists D does not exist. Wow, how did I not catch that for so long, man? I just don't pay attention enough. That's easy. Yeah, and in this case, all of these deleted and privated shenanigans, we we can't tell which one it is because, as you have su unsurprisingly figured out, the API doesn't give us that information. And I don't know if there is a way to get it as far as I know. So when I select the information is displayed. So this uh, relates to both selecting via playlist and via video. Uh, we'll just do this. And for the purposes of this, I don't want to launch it randomly anyway. So we'll just set the browser to nothing and bam. So there we go. This is the selected and listed video. And we have it printed when we select it. Um, no default browser when I ask, uh, the application links, uh, and when I don't ask it, it's a clipboard, so that's why we did it, we made it work in clipboard, but for the sake and purposes of being complete, we also need to show that it works with the browser, which is the last thing, and it launches it in the browser, excellent, perfection, bye, you broken piece of crap, done son, Mark sprint is complete. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck, man. This was this was much. What are our stats? I think that that's not very good, or is it? Like like. Uh, oh well, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure the next sprint will go better. <laughs> All right, so I think we did a good review. I, I mean. We could go into the other functionalities, but uh, I don't want to, and I think it's not that uh, special. I think we've uh, basically covered them in general, and I really only wanted to show off things for the stories so that we can accept them. Needless to say, stuff works, and that's a good thing. And we can now move on to something more important. Now that we have all of this and all the related stuff, I think for my next... Oh my god, I forgot about a comment which doesn't show here. Information at minimum should include all the stuff. And we've accepted... Nobody reads comments. This, this is what I mean, nobody reads comments. In part because they don't fucking show up here for some reason, which is where you would go to look at these. Oh my god, I feel betrayed.
We could totally have added all this information if I really wanted to. I don't really want to. It's all, let's, it's basically not important right now, actually. All of this information can be added once we have the next step, which is subscriptions. We're gonna do subscriptions next, baby. Meaning, I'm automatically seeing videos that have been recently released, baby. We're doing it. We're actually fucking gonna do it. That's gonna be the next step, which I will not make videos for, so maybe it'll be actually quite fast. Uh, th that's the main point. I am probably not even gonna use the sprint mechanism anymore, because fuck it. Uh, as you can see, it just fucking goes to mislead me. These 18 points were done with the fact that I thought this would be... Oh my god. And I even had one more fucking... You cannot edit the story as Mario is accepted. I'm not editing a story, this is comments. What do you mean? <laughs> and so it ends. Not with a resounding success, but with a complete and utter dis This is series has been just a complete and utter disaster, guys. Wow. It's just, wow. All right, well, what can I say? Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with updates as soon as there's something out. It's possible that due to the way that I release videos, there could actually be some updates that are staggered to release after this video, pretty much the next slot, or I might release it in between or whatever. But the point is that this series is done. See you later.